Welcome to Sandra Sensations. I just want to give you a quick view of everything I'm going to be doing for my painting tonight. My base is going to be the Saks Heavy Body Acrylic. Yep, Heavy Body True Flow Acrylic by Saks. That's the base. Got the Dioxazine Purple. I've got Ice Blue Metallic. Sapphire Blue Metallic. Love this one. Peacock Metallic. Peacock Pearl, I think is what it's actually called. Yes, Peacock Pearl. I've got also the Ready Pour Aqua Green. This one is by Artist Loft. Yeah, Aqua Green. Nothing's added to this one. It's just comes straight right out of the bottle. And of course, my Pearlescent Mixing Medium, my favorite stuff by Sargent's Art. I use 50% of this and 50% acrylic paint on almost all of my colors, except for, of course, the ready pour stuff. I don't do that. So it's 50% pouring medium, 50% acrylic paint, and a little bit of water to mix. I'm gonna be using my cookie cutter snowflake on this one. And if you give me two minutes, I'll put a base coat down on my canvas and we'll be ready to go. I'll be right back. And please, if you're new to my channel, please hit subscribe. And of course, everybody that keeps coming back, thank you so much. It means the world. Keep the comments coming, thumbs up, and share with your friends on Facebook. That would be awesome. Thanks. Hi, everyone. I'm back. Thanks for sticking around. I've got a 10 by 20 canvas in front of me ready to go with some white acrylic. In the center here, you'll see a little bit of a different color. I put some pre-mixed white that deco arts ready to mix you don't add anything to it right here and then a little bit more of my white mixture i'm going to be putting the snowflake there so that's why it's a little bit of a different color if you can see it or not i'm not sure so i'm going to take my cookie cutter snowflake and just sit it right down roughly in the center and start pouring some of my colors okay we got ice blue going down first I'm probably just going to load it up right away with the ice blue. Now this is metallic ice blue deco art. It's 50% the metallic and 50% the pearlescent mixing medium that I showed in the video at the beginning. I'll show you the bottle quickly here just for a refresher. This stuff right here. Love it. It's my favorite mixing medium. I highly recommend it. There is in the description a link to all the things you'll see me using, all the cups, stir sticks, all the tools that I use, my butane torch. I get most of my stuff off Amazon, so if you decide you want to do a little bit of shopping, click my link that's in the description. Feel free to do a little bit of shopping for yourself, and I'll get a tiny commission on a gift card from Amazon to replenish some of my stock. Now this is Peacock Pearl going down. Now I'm not sure, once I get the paint in here, I might want to do a swipe, I might want to do a blowout, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do just yet. Okay, next one's gonna be my white. Now this white is the same as what I have on my base. It's got three drops of silicone in it, just to kind of add to it a little bit. Get a little bit of cells happening. Definitely need this paint to start flowing because my snowflake is getting full. Okay. Next one's going to be down is the Sapphire Blue. Might have to lift the corners a little bit to get this guy going. That's funny, lift the corners. There's how many corners on this thing. <laughs> Sometimes I just have to laugh at myself. Okay, Sapphire Blue going down. Now 
leave a little bit of that for the finale of the colors going down because I love that color so I'll probably end with that color okay let's get some purple down now I think in the beginning of the video I said this was the Liquitex dioxys or not yeah uh, dioxazine purple it's not this one is the Arteza's violet and what I did was I added the 50% pearlescent so it gives it a real shimmer so sorry it's not the Liquitex dioxazine purple it is the Arteza's violet okay let's put this down Okay. Loving the blues and greens that are coming out of here right now. That peacock pearl is just a gorgeous color. It's a lot of paint on this canvas, but that's okay. Okay. A little bit more of my sapphire blue. Just right in the center here with a little bit of white, I think. Oops. Yeah, definitely want some weight in there. I'm just going to go this way and this way. Maybe this way too. There we go. Now that was the white with a little bit of silicone in it. So let's get this traveling this way a little bit maybe. I'm going to lift it and go back this way a little bit. Okay, loving that little uh, color combination right there. Let's give it a quick torch. Okay, now let's give it a little bit of a tilt. Try and do this a little bit slowly. love the cells that are coming up right now it's just awesome now sorry if you start to see the back of the canvas I try and keep it in frame for one camera view or the other Sorry, back of the canvas again. Let's try and get the side view. Okay. Let's go back to the front. really like these colors going in here. I don't want to get too much of that purple overtaking it. I'm going to go this way a little bit. This corner down here. Come on. Don't want to lose those colors. Okay. Go back this way a little bit. Sorry, I'm totally giving you the back of the canvas. I apologize, you guys. I want to bring some more of that beautiful green in there and stretch out those cells. Okay, let's put it down for a sec. See how I'm doing for my corners. This one needs a little bit of color. Let's 
one's pretty good. Okay. All right, I'm just going to take these gloves off quickly. Give it a little bit more of a torch. I just ripped the glove and sprayed blue paint up my arm. <laughs> There's always a blue, but I just made it worse by smearing it. Okay, we're good. <laughs> oh my goodness. And you know, this is me with no alcohol in the system. Okay, let's give this a torch. All right. Now, one thing I always see Kathleen with Cause Creations do is put the color down and then gives it a swipe. I think I want to do that. I'm pretty sure I want to do that. Do I want to do it with white? You know what? Let's just try. I'll be brave. Let's try it. I'm just going to take a little piece of my paper towel. Get it a little bit wet. Let's see. All I have left is the sapphire or the purple. So I'm going to go with some purple. I'm just going to put it right here. And then I'm going to take some white. You guys are probably watching going, she's just going to wreck it. Everything's under control. We're good. Okay, let's see if I can swipe. One more swipe, I think. Okay, let me torch it and see if it did anything. I should probably put my glasses on for this. I actually quite like that. I'm going to take another piece of paper towel. I'm going to pour some of this on my table. So I want to dip my paper towel into it and just swipe over this right here. Okay, let me give that a torch. I like that a lot. Okay. One thing I want to do though, I think, is Go back. I want color over here. So I'm just going to swipe lightly again and give it another torch. Oop, that got too close to my canvas. Let's fix that. See, there's always a blooper. Sorry, I just got to pull that off, you guys. Get a little bit more white paint. And the blue. I don't want to totally lose that green, but I definitely needed to fix that. Okay. You know what? I don't think I'm going to mess with this anymore. I've already got paint on my hand, so I'll just lift it. It's got some beautiful cell action, beautiful painting. Even the corner that I just messed with, it's all good. So adds character to the painting. I might do one more swipe down here, but for now I'm going to let it sit for a couple minutes. Let it do its thing, and then I'll come back and decide final. 
Thanks very much everyone for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that. Hope you learned something from me. The do's and don'ts of pour painting, swiping, and all that good stuff. And I hope you come back and watch another video. Remember, hit subscribe and hit the notification right beside that. It'll let you know when I upload another video. Thanks everyone.